Present to you, Bishop Dr. W.F. Houston, Jr. Praise the Lord, beloved. Happy holidays to you. Welcome to CHUF Bible Fellowship. I pray that your time with me will bring you love, joy, peace, wisdom, and knowledge. Today, our Bible Fellowship topic is called A Personal Relationship. And our focal scripture reading for today will come from John 3.16. And I'll be reading from the New King James Bible Translation. Beloved, as you know, Christmas is just around the corner. And on that special day, God showed us some real special love. He blessed us with his very own son. Our Bible verse reads this way. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Once again, it reads in this manner. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Beloved, God loves us so much that on that day, God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to be born on earth so that we may have an opportunity to be rejoined with him. You see, our sins separated us from God. So God made a way for us to be reconnected to him. It's only by God's grace, his undeserved mercy, that we can have eternal life with him in heaven. All we have to do is have faith, believe Christ died for us, and ask him to forgive our sins. As I said earlier, Christmas is just around the corner. And the reason for the season is Jesus. Beloved, God sent his son to this earth to open a door of salvation to whoever would believe. That means anyone, anyone can become his child and have a personal relationship with him. Before Jesus came, people had to observe many laws in order to be holy enough just to enter the temple. They were always performing sacrifices to pay for their sin just so they could be around God's presence. But when Jesus came, he was the final sacrifice. He paid for our sins once and for all. Now, instead of just going to the temple to be near God, the Bible says we are the temple and he chooses to live inside us. Beloved, as we prepare to celebrate Christ's birth, remember, Jesus is the definitive gift to us. And this gift is perpetual. 
Amen. Amen. Beloved, if you have never had a personal relationship with Jesus and you would like to have one with him, a personal relationship with our Lord and Savior, there is no better time than today. And if you're a backslider and you want to rekindle your personal relationship with your Lord and Savior, then you too may take this offer also. Today is is a better time than any to rekindle your love and personal relationship with the Father. Because it says, whoever calls on the name of Jesus will be saved. Amen? Will you pray with me? Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, as we prepare to celebrate Christmas, I say thank you for sending your son Jesus to this earth so that we can have a personal relationship with you. Today, I call on the name of the Lord. I receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Come into my heart and make me new. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. Beloved, if you prayed this prayer with me and you believe that Jesus Christ is Lord of Lords and King of Kings and can and will change your life, Jesus is now in your personal Lord and Savior and your personal relationship with Jesus has begun. Congratulations. Beloved, the best use of life is love. The best expression of love is time. And the best time to love is now. So today, reach out to someone you love and tell them you love them because telling them later just may be too late. Have a blessed day, everyone. Oh, yeah.